हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोइंग टॉक अबाउट व्हाट आर द इफेक्ट ऑफ सर्जिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी व्हाट आर द कॉज एंड प्रिवेंटिव मेजर वी कैन टेक फॉर द सर्जिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट दिस टॉपिक बिफोर बिगिनिंग द वीडियो आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट आई हैव मेड वीडियो रिगार्डिंग व्हाट आर how the surging take place and what are the characteristic of a surge graph if you want to know i will keep that thing in the description box so let's begin the today video what are the effect of surging so first thing is that what surging do surging produces a loud barking or a coughing noise which is unpleasant and worrying for the operator why it happen as i have told you surging means the reversal of a air flow from the scavenge air side to the compressor air inlet side while the air will gush into the compressor inlet side it will produce a loud barking noise or a coughing noise accompanying by the vibration which will which can damage the turbocharger what do i mean by damage means damaging the compressor blade or vibration which can damage the bearing surfaces area like all that as you know that the turbocharger is rotating at high rpm so any vibration is very very problematic and can damage the turbocharger so what action we can take we can if suppose a surging occur you first if it permit we can reduce the engine load it may happen that we can't reduce the engine load always because it may happen that we are in a maneuvering scenario and in that cases we can't do because the control need to be in a bridge so that they can do the maneuvering based on the outer environment venting air from the scavenge trunking will reduce the scavenge pressure means basically what we are doing as the air is flowing from the scavenge air to the compressor air inlet side so if we reduce the scavenge air pressure how we can vent the if we can vent the air from the scavenge air trunking then we can reduce the scavenge pressure if we reduce the scavenge pressure then the surging will stop but by saying this is easy but doing it it will take time and in that time the surging will continue surging if occur after an engine adjustment okay means suppose we are carrying out we have carried out fuel pump job or injector job and after that we observe that surging has take place it means that we have not carried out that job properly for that reason because of that the surging has come up so we have to rectify that fault okay so that i mean to say surging if occur after an engine adjustment fuel pump immediate action to be taken to rectify that there are many other reason for the turbocharger surging let's see that okay now the cause the cause of surging may be divided into three group okay so here i have divided the cause broadly in three group the first group is turbocharger air gas system the second is the engine fuel system and third is rapid variation in engine load so one by one we will see each group okay so this group include foul turbine if the turbine side is foul or if the nozzle blade is foul like this in the diagram you can see in that case surging will occur why because if the nozzle is foul in that case the rpm at which the compressor was rotating to develop the pressure that pressure will not be developed because the rpm of compressor have been lowered because of the foul turbo charger nozzle or nozzle blade because of that the pressure develop is reduced and for that reason surging is occurring place other reason is that restricted air cooled or water mist separator restricted scavenge port defective operation of exhaust valve 
damage or block grating before turbo charger and pressure pulse section in the exhaust system turbo charger bearing failure so these are the mainly failure which can occur at a turbo charger okay because of that the surging can take place means if a bearing failure will occur if a bearing has failed means if the bearing ball race has gone in that case the vibration because of that vibration the efficiency has gone down means basically what here we are seeing in the turbine gas system like restrict scavenge port defective exhaust valve damage or protective grating of turbocharger means basically we are seeing that we are affecting the normal operation of a turbocharger normal operating condition is affected somehow because of that the developing the compressor pressure developing efficiency has reduced and for that reason surging is taking place now let's see second part engine fuel system it influence on the combustion cylinder combustion air or water in the fuel low fuel pressure or temperature fuel pump damage fuel injector damage faulty injection timing poor load distribution between the cylinder changing fuel of different ignition quality without making timing correction so basically if the fuel component is not been properly maintained means if the injector is not spraying properly as you can see in this diagram or if the clearance in the fuel pump has increased or if the sticky fuel pump operation is there or if the ignition is not proper or if the water is there in the fuel because of this means because of this fuel condition the efficiency of the exhaust will be reduced means the exhaust which we need to produce to produce that much drive for the turbine is not been produced for that reason the compressor efficiency has gone down and for that reason the surging is taking place now let's see the third reason rapid variation in the engine load now this is this can happen in only in maneuvering during maneuvering surging can take place if engine load is suddenly reduced that is engine cannot make us all of air being supplied although this surging is transient and will pass quickly it can still cause damage and should be avoided now what do i mean by that suppose in maneuvering we have suddenly moving at slow and suddenly we have given full ahead from dash to full ahead at that time the amount of air that is required for combustion purpose may not be available at that case it may happen or from suddenly from high to low we have moved. so sudden load fluctuation may generate a condition where the amount of air in the scavenge manifold the pressure air pressure is more compared to that in the compressor outlet coming from the turbocharger in that case the reversal of flow will take place and surging may take place but the thing which we need to care is that the rapid variation in engine load is transient in nature is very important is transient in nature means it will pass but this conditions like engine fuel system conditions and the turbocharger air gas conditions are not transient it has occurred because we have not following proper procedure if we had followed proper turbocharger cleaning interval or we have cleaned the turbocharger suction filter areas or we have done proper maintenance of the fuel system in that case this problem had not occurred but it is occurring because of the less care in the maintenance part so that is the fault which we need to rectify but this rapid variation in engine load is the fault which may happen in a maneuvering it can pass is a transient phase so this thing we need to take care now let's see what corrective action we can do 
reducing the engine speed will minimize the effect okay now to minimize the effect of surging we will we can reduce the rpm how it is minimizing the effect basically the amount of air which is required will be reduced the demand will reduce so surging frequency will be reduced but the corrective action depend upon the cause frequent cleaning cleaning of turbine compressor and cooler will minimize the deposit build up very important as you can see in this diagram this is the clean filter this is the grating of the filter on top if the filter are not clean properly or if the cleaning interval is not been followed in that case this type of condition can reach this type of condition can reach but if we follow the proper cleaning interval then this type of condition might not be able to reach and the turbocharger will operate efficiently so we have to follow proper cleaning interval regular inspection can indicate deposit formation scavenge port means scavenge port or scavenge manifold should always be inspected as per the pms which is normally one monthly and we can we should do the cleaning operation as frequently as possible like one month or one two month so that the scavenge area is tip top so that it should be properly neat and clean cylinder exhaust temperature can often provide an indication of the particularly cylinder defect such as malfunction exhaust valve or fuel injector very very important part means as you have seen in the engine fuel system that because of the bad injector or a fuel pump problem so that can be indicated by the cylinder temperature exhaust temperature or jacket temperature or fuel temperature means basically what i mean to say is a condition monitoring means we have to monitor the condition of each and individual component based on that we can come to a conclusion that whether the system is getting faulty and based on that we should do the corrective action so that before this type of condition like seized fuel pump or bad injector like this injecting is taking place we should avoid so i hope i have given you a clear idea that how the turbocharger surging can be avoided and what corrective action we can take place so if you have any doubt please do comment below and please friend please do subscribe please do share please do share our video in the facebook whatsapp telegram whatever platform you like please do share and please if you need to download you can download you can watch whenever you want because i have made this video for you all so please do share and please make you friend also know about this channel this channel is in made only for benefit for all of you so please do subscribe and share have a good day friend